What really happens when you take Viagra? Side effects and myths, you've heard the jokes, you've seen the memes. But do you actually know what Viagra does to your body? Whether you're just curious, concerned, or doing your homework before trying it today, we're breaking down what actually happens when you take Viagra, how it works, what the side effects are, and a few myths you probably still believe that aren't true. Before we dive in, hit that like button, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you never miss future videos about health, relationships, and everything in between. And hey, leave a comment below if you've got a question or story to share about this topic. You never know who it might help. Let's start with the basics. Viagra, known generically as Sildenafil, was actually discovered by accident. It was originally developed as a heart medication for treating high blood pressure and a condition called angina, which causes chest pain due to reduced blood flow to the heart. But here's where it gets interesting. During clinical trials, researchers noticed a very unexpected side effect men were reporting improved directions. The researchers took notice, and instead of discarding the finding, they pivoted. That side effect became the main effect. This led to a complete change in how the drug was marketed and studied. In 1998, Viagra became the first oral treatment for erectile dysfunction ed, and not only that, it quickly became the most recognized name in sexual health worldwide. And despite being around for over two decades, there are still tons of myths and misunderstandings about how it works. How it really works spoiler, not like in the movie, so how does Viagra actually work? First, let's clear up a huge misconception. It doesn't instantly give you an erection. And it doesn't make you more sexually aroused. Here's what it actually does. Viagra increases blood flow. More specifically, it helps relax the smooth muscles and opens up blood vessels, especially those in the penis. This allows more blood to flow in during sexual arousal, making it easier to get and maintain an erection. But here's the key part, it only works if you're already sexually stimulated. So, if you're just sitting around, not turned on, Viagra won't do anything magical. Think of Viagra as a helper, not a switch. It doesn't create desire, it simply supports the physical response if the desire is already there. Let us bust some common myths you've probably heard. Myth number one, Viagra increases your sex drive. Truth. Nope. It doesn't affect libido or desire at all. It only affects the physical response to arousal, not the mental or emotional part. Myth number two, Viagra works instantly. Truth, it actually takes about 30 to 60 minutes to kick in. And even then, sexual stimulation is still required. Myth number three, taking more equals better results. Truth. This one's not only wrong, it can be dangerous. More isn't better. Overdosing can lead to side effects, serious health problems, and even long-term damage. Myth number four, it works forever. Truth. Viagra's effects typically last for about four to six hours, not all night, and not the next day. Side effects. What you need to know like any medication, Viagra comes with potential side effects. The most common ones include headaches, facial flushing that warm, red feeling in your cheeks, stuffy, or runny nose, upset stomach, mild dizziness. These effects are usually temporary and mild. But your experience may vary depending on your overall health, medications you're taking, and sensitivity to the drug. Now let us talk serious side effects, the ones that are rare but important to know. Vision changes, including a blue tint to your vision or blurry eyesight. Hearing problems, ringing in the ears, or even hearing loss. Priapism. This is the big one. It's an erection lasting more than four hours. And yes, that is not a punchline. It is a medical emergency that needs immediate treatment to prevent permanent damage. Is Viagra right for you? It depends. Now let's tackle a question we've been dodging. Does Viagra stay in your system after you ejaculate? The simple answer is no. 
Once you finish ejaculating, the physiological changes in your body, including those related to your erection, begin to return to normal. That means Viagra is no longer actively working once it's been processed by your system. However, because Viagra's half-life can be anywhere from for to six hours, it's possible that some trace amounts might still be present in your bloodstream. So, can you take another pill once you ejaculate? Technically, yes. But remember, it's designed to support your body during sexual activity, not to extend it. Plus, taking multiple pills can increase your chances of experiencing side effects. So, it's generally recommended to wait for the first dose to wear off before considering another one. Ultimately, the decision of when to take another dose should be based on your individual circumstances, how long you plan to engage in sexual activity, and whether you want to continue having the enhanced blood flow and harder erections that Viagra provides. Always consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice on this matter. You definitely don't want to overuse it. Your body will eventually build up a tolerance, reducing its effectiveness. And if you stop taking it for a while and then resume again, you'll have to start at a lower dose, meaning you'll have to work your way back up. This can be frustrating and inconvenient, not to mention expensive. So it's best to use Viagra wisely, knowing that it's there when you really need it. After all, the less you use it, the longer it will last in your medicine cabinet and the more effective it will be when you need it most. And let's face it, nobody wants to go through the hassle of getting a prescription, dealing with insurance companies and copayments, and waiting for the pills to kick in just to end up disappointed. So use it wisely, use it sparingly, and use it safely. It's supposed to enhance your sexual experiences, not become the star of the show. Can women take Viagra? While Viagra has been proven to be safe and effective for men, it hasn't been approved for women by the FDA. There are other medications like ADE that are meant to treat low sexual desire in women. It is important to talk to a doctor about the specific sexual health concerns you may be facing so they can recommend the right treatment options for you. One of the biggest misconceptions about Viagra is that it is a magic pill that can instantly fix all your sexual woes. But it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. So if Viagra isn't doing the trick, don't despair. There are other options out there. And here are five things you can try instead of popping another Viagra pill. 1. Focus on your diet. Eating a balanced diet full of fruits, veggies, and whole grains can improve your overall health and boost your energy levels, which can positively affect your sex life. 2. Exercise regularly. Staying active can increase your stamina and endurance, both physically and mentally. And exercise also releases endorphins that can improve your mood and reduce stress. 3. Manage stress levels. High stress can significantly impact your sex life. Find healthy ways to manage stress, such as yoga, meditation, or spending time in nature. 4. Consider counseling. Talking to a therapist or counselor can help you work through any emotional or psychological barriers that might be affecting your sex life. 5. Don't be afraid to experiment. There are plenty of ways to spice up your sex life beyond traditional intercourse. Experiment with different types of sexual experiences that may be more enjoyable for you. And now it's time for a truth bomb. Popping a pill isn't always the answer to a fulfilling sex life. Yes, it can be helpful. But the real magic lies in a combination of factors, including good old-fashioned communication with your partner, mutual respect, trust, emotional connection, and shared values. These are the cornerstones of a thriving relationship and a vibrant sex life. So don't put all your eggs in the Viagra basket. Explore all aspects of your relationship and sexuality to find what truly works for you. So, what surprised you the most about Viagra? The way it works, the side effects, the myths? Drop a comment below and let's talk about it. I read every single one, and I might even feature your question in a future video. 
If you learned something today, hit that like button, share this video with a friend who might need it, and of course, subscribe for more honest, science-backed breakdowns just like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.